The components required for this experiment are ESP32 board, vibration sensor, breadboard, connecting wires and connecting cable. Now log into the Blink.Cloud website. Then go to Developer Zone. Here click on New Template and give the template name Earthquake Alert. Now select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi Fi and click on the Done button. Now here select uh, Setup Data Streams and then select New Data Stream and select Virtual Pin. Here give the name for the variable. vibration value and select the pin number as V1 data type as double and the maximum value as 2000 if you want you can change the color and click on the create button now from the left side menu go to web dashboard and here drag a gauge widget now go to settings and here choose the data stream now click on the save button. Now go to events and notifications. Here click create event. Here we need to give the event name. So in the program we gave the event name as earthquake underscore alert. So we need to give the same name here. And also we need to give a description. We can give the description as earthquake detected. Now go to notifications menu, here click enable notifications and select email to device owner and push notifications to device owner. Now enable this button deliver push notifications as alert. Now go to settings, here change this one hour to one second. Now click on the create button. Now we can save the template. Now go to devices. Here click new device and then select from template. Here we can choose the template which we created and click on the create button. Now copy this template ID, template name and authentication token and paste in the program. Then we need to enter the Wi-Fi username and password. Now we need to upload the program. For that go to this drop down. Here the port will be already selected. So we need to select the board which we are using. We are using ESP32 board. So select ESP32 dev module. Now click OK. Now click this arrow button and upload the program. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. Now we can set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template here to click alert. Now click the settings icon and click the plus icon from the bottom of the page. Now here we need to add a gauge widget. Now click on the gauge and choose the data stream. Now go back and again click the back button. Now the setup is completed and now we can check the output.